Peace and blessings, beloved. This is your favorite spiritual auntie. And I'm coming to you with another. Let's talk about it while you watch me paint. And let's talk about spiritual awakened. Are you? What is spiritual awakening? So I came across this article and I just want to talk about it because it's a space that I live in, in my own journey. First, I'll talk about this painting. I love black canvas and I love shapes. Um, I love connection. When I sit down uh, to paint, I don't do a sketch ahead of time. Sometimes I don't even know the colors I'm going to use. I literally get a canvas and I sit with it quietly and then I move based on um, what I see in my mind's eye. I pick up a couple of markers or only two or three paint colors and then I go from there. As I work with the canvas, it's very intuitive. It, Painting began for me during 2020, when the great shut, the great shut in. You know, you know what I mean. And uh, it just became very meditative and very healing to just go with the flow with the canvas. So, spiritual awakening. I'm gonna share this article. It's pretty cool. That um, points out ways to identify if you're going through a spiritual awakening. First, you feel detached. In the beginning of the spiritual awakening process, in the beginning, the spiritual awakening process feels overwhelming and confusing. You feel disconnected and detached from people and things. You reevaluate your beliefs. Spiritual awakening will cause you to revise so many of your beliefs. Oh my God, it will. How you see life, people, and the things that matter so much will look silly and your priorities change. And so let me stop right here before I go further. Typically, a spiritual awakening occurs after like a traumatic or very stressful situation, you know, in your life. It could even be the opposite round where it was something so phenomenal that was not in your belief system. You, you witnessed a miracle or you saw a metaphor in something in nature. Or it could be a combination of both as you examine your life and see certain things repeated. So what I'm sharing with you is you've noticed some of these uh, things that I'm going to share with you about the symptoms of spiritual awakening. So I first said, you feel detached. The second one, you evaluate your beliefs. Your dreams become vivid. In addition to your waking life, your dream life also becomes more vivid and you start seeing that your dreams connect with your journey. You experience deja vu. D-E-J-A dash V-U. Deja vu. Google it for those that don't know it, but that's when you experience mind-blowing synchronicities like thinking about someone and randomly running into them the next day or seeing angel numbers. That's a sign that the universe is communicating with you. Shift in relationships, a big, a huge one. If you're going through spiritual awakening, there will be shifts in your relationships <clears throat> Excuse me. There will be many instances when you may feel your loved ones don't understand you anymore because you are changing. That too is a sign. Spirituality is becoming important to you. That's a sign. It will be hard to ignore the call from your spiritual side as you go through this process. It becomes an integral part of you. Yeah. And that's why the earlier one was says relationships. When you start diving into living a more awakened life, 
you began to take into your spirit, plant into the soul, the cellular level, knowledge and information. Teachers will show up. Classes will show up. Let's go to the next one. Intuitions. Your intuition will will start to be palpable. It is a sign of spiritual awakening. If you feel your intuitions are becoming stronger or the feelings have heightened and you feel more in tune with yourself. You can sense the fake. That's a big one, beloved, that you become so tuned in in the awareness of your being as a spiritual essence, as a light on the planet, operating in an avatar called your human body, that you can sense the fake. It is not just intuition. You also start sensing that fakeness, inauthenticity, and manipulation when you are around some people. Mm. Another symptom, everyone has their own path. But you accept that and don't try to jump in and save everybody. So we all say and understand that everybody has their own path. But when we realize it, it's a difference honoring other people's path and walk in life. It's a different ball game and a very strong sign. You become a more accepting. You become more accepting of others' unique paths. When you're in this spiritual awakening, oh my God, like I said, relationships are going to shift. People may not understand. You may have worry about those closest to you not understanding the direction that you're moving in, especially when you start to uh, reevaluate your beliefs. And, and uh, yeah, your beliefs, your faith, what you've been following, what you've been raised in, you, hey, Mm-hmm. But when you come to a point of it, not trying to s- encourage others to believe what you believe and you understand that each person has a unique path. Another symptom is you want to be in service. That's a huge one. That's a huge one for me. Like I love spiritual encouragement. Like I sit here as I talk to you, I'm actually talking to myself more and more. I'm releasing and surrendering that. Wanda, you don't have to open up live on a platform. If you, you, you can if you want to. And if you do, remember to just talk to yourself. Like here, I'm sitting in my kitchen and I'm looking out. I see, you know, sunshine. Oh, it's a little overcast. But I'm just speaking from the flow that I'm hearing in my mind. The conversation that's always going on all the time with the divine, y'all. And I'm just, I'm just speaking into this and sharing it. So you want to be of service. This is how I feel. I am of service. Um, When your awakening begins, you want to be of help to people and very selflessly. It could be for humans, animals, or even the environment. You just find, you just have a purpose. I, I, at this season of my life and the many years of um, the awakening journey, uh, teachers and information and intuitive hits and downloads, creativity coming out of me because of being living and maintaining a late unawakened life. You see this painting that I put in together. I mean, you know, I never knew that I would enjoy painting, nonetheless, that I could intuitively do abstract work. And that is because I choose to uh, live in this space of, of uh, mindfulness. Another symptom or an awareness of identifying that you're living an awakened life or your experience of spiritual awakening is your teachers find you. Mm Mm-hmm. Yeah. You have some of the things that you're drawn to, like this video. You may not have directly searched for it. You saw the title or something brought you here. But it is in alignment with what you're actually feeling in this moment. So this channel, this vibration goes out and finds and matches with those who are the receivers. Y'all hear what I said? I ain't got this written down. (laughs) It's just flowing. Your teachers will find you. Your spiritual teachers may appear everywhere. 
with perfect timing to help you. This person could be a stranger, a friend, or a figure real, uh, related to religion or spirituality. Another symptom is that alone feeling. Spiritual awakenings are no easy undertaking. And while, other, while there's hope for enlightenment on the other side, it can feel very lonely. And it is a sign you must take positively. I feel you on that. Because it takes a lot for me to do these types of videos. I'm like, who's seeing them? Who will even want this information? I'm living in my own world in my own zone. No, I'm listening to the broadcast, the divine universal broadcast, and what inspires me to move and do uh, this work. So another symptom is the natural world. More than friends and family, your heart and mind connect more with nature. Oh my God, y'all. I spend... Tons of time at a lake, at lakeside, waterside. I do my music there. I do healing work there with others. I have found that nature, especially around water, is for me. Another symptom is your senses are heightened. When there's an awakening, your senses will often become a heightened and you become more tuned to the present moment. And you crave wanting present moment experiences. You crave wanting to have it silence in the spaces that you work and live. And my home is quiet, but I do have Native American music playing in the background. It's so grounding. So physical symptoms from fatigue to brain fogging, which can also be a medical condition. These symptoms are often seen in those people too who are experiencing the awakening. So you will be drawn to holistic approaches, um, energy work, body work, uh, aromatherapy, anointing, breath work, meditation. Those are things to help you with your body when, you, when you're in the awakening journey. All right. And healthy eating, of course. So change in routine and habits. When you are getting through a spiritual awakening, your habits and routines change. You ditch old habits, which no longer serve you. And that's a good thing. And then the world just seems different. The ego shattering relations, realizations, excuse me, ego shattering realizations make you feel like you are now living in a different world <laughs> and all else was, it just got you to where you are now, but you desire to dive into your day to day. There's increased empathy. You find have newfound curiosity and you just want to study and just sit in this space of maintaining living an awakened life. I hope that you enjoyed. Uh, thank you for watching this journey. This was a piece that I did in early 2023. It has since sold. Um, do check out um, my uh, website. Uh, actually, it's under construction, but I will leave in the either you'll see it in the profile to be able to reach the website um, and also my email list or down below. I'll put those two links. And it was a, just wonderful to be able to share this awareness about spiritual awakening. Many people, masses of people are going through that right now. Old belief structures are being torn down and some people are probably in wilderness mode listen to your heart and get out of your head pursue the things that give you passion like for me i love creating and painting i love using my voice i love having discussions of higher consciousness um, i love understanding deeply about ourselves from astrological to um, different ancient uh, systems that help you understand how you were encoded and how the planets were in line when you incarnated here on earth. But I appreciate those that followed and listened and watched. May you uh, continue to choose to live an awakened life. And until next time, thank you for joining me. Peace and blessings.